Hey everyone, Shadowraith back again, this time with a build guide using the Traveler's Chosen Exotic Sidearm that just came out. I'll be showing it first on a Hunter, but I'll also give examples for Warlock and Titan, since this build works with both. And then I do not have any exotic armor on for this build, but I'll give you some examples or options if you have the exotics that you can run, and it'll make the build even more powerful. So we're going to have, obviously, Traveler's Chosen, and then we'll be running the Surprise Attack mod for a 100% damage boost, so we'll be doing double damage, and then you can see the exotic perk there. You can consume stacks of Gathering Light to instantly regenerate your abilities. In addition to that, we have Blinding Grenades as our special weapon, and then we have Falling Guillotine for our heavy weapon for quick boss DPS. And then we're also running Oppressive Darkness Grenades for the 30% damage debuff. So you can see how quickly you can take out a Lost Sector boss here. As far as where I would use this, I think this is good up through Legend, maybe Master Content. I would recommend using something else for Master Content. But for standard stuff, Strikes, um, lower level Nightfalls, etc., this build should work pretty well. Alright, so if that looks interesting, we'll go ahead and jump into subclasses. So we're going to be running Night Stalker, Bottom Tree, Way of the Pathfinder, Vanish and Smoke, Throw a Smoke Bomb to become invisible, Lockdown, Grenade Effects last twice as long, this is great for Oppressive Darkness, Combat, Provision, Grenades grant melee ability energy, and making allies invisible grants grenade energy. And then Mobius Quiver, Vortex Grenades, and Gambler's Dodge, so that we can get our Smoke Bomb back when dodging next to enemies and triple jump, but you can use whichever jump. If you're on a Titan, I'd recommend running Middle Tree Sentinel, Code of the Commander, for the Void Detonators. Gives you ability regen and health, super helpful. Or you can run Top Tree, Code of the Protector, for the Bubble Titan and healing on melee kills. And then I'd run Void Wall Grenades, Towering Barricade, and Strafe Lift. For Warlock, of course, I would recommend running Attunement of Hunger, Devour, where you can consume your grenade or get a powered melee kill to proc Devour which then gives you grenade, melee, and health on every single kill that you get. And again, vortex grenades, healing rifts, and whichever jump you like. As for weapons, we're running Traveler's Chosen. The intrinsic trait is Gathering Light. Final blows with this weapon grant stacks of Gathering Light. Hold R to consume the stacks, granting melee, grenade, and class ability energy based on the number of stacks. It's about 10% per stack. Then the other trait is Gift of the Traveler. Each stack of Gathering Light improves this weapon's reload, handling, and target acquisition. So it's a really good sidearm, a lot of fun to use. Then for our special weapon, we have Truth Teller with blinding grenades for add control, auto-loading holster so we can swap away and it'll reload, and then Demolitionist for the extra grenade energy. You could also use something like the Ikelos sniper rifle or a different sniper that you enjoy. For our heavy, we're running Falling Guillotine with Whirlwind Blade and Relentless Strikes, and then Blade Master's Guard, or Sword Master's Guard for the increased charge rate and then you can run whichever blade and then major or boss spec. You could also run something like Temptation's Hook. Then we have Oppressive Darkness for the 30% debuff and Enhanced Sword Scavenger for the extra sword ammo. Now we'll jump over to armor, and again, I'm not using an exotic here, um, but I will give you some examples of exotics you can use for each class once we jump in. So if you are using an exotic, you can not use this Lucent Blade mod. I'm using it just because I have the slot for it. Um, but if you use an exotic, you won't have that fourth slot. So you can swap this out. And then you can use Special Ammo Finder, Sword Ammo Finder, and something like a Discipline mod. On arms, we have Stacks on Stacks, which will give me two stacks of Charge with Light for instead of just one. And then Enhanced Sidearm Loader and Mobility mod. Then we have... Swift Charge, become charged with light by rapidly defeating combatants with pulse rifles, sidearms, or submachine guns. Sidearms is the only thing we care about. Then we have Sword Reserves, Overload Nades in case we jump into a Nightfall with Overload Champions, and Major Resist for increased survivability. You could also swap those two out for something like Mobility or Discipline mod. On our boots, we have Protective Light. While charged with light, you gain significant damage resistance against combatants when your shields are destroyed. This is huge for survivability, highly recommend running it. And then Enhanced Sword Scavenger for the extra sword ammo, Traction for increased mobility, and a mobility mod as well. And then 
If you want to, you could switch that out for something like a recovery mod too. Then on our bond, we are running the key mod surprise attack while charged with light, reloading or readying a sidearm consumes all stacks and converts them to a major damage buff. That's a 100% damage buff, so you're doing double damage. Then we have oppressive darkness grenades for the 30% debuff and another mobility mod. I'll give you a couple examples of exotics that you could run if you have them, but they're not required. So we're going to start with Hunter on Wormhus Crown for the bump to shield and health when you dodge, or Graviton Forfeit for increased invisibility timer, Sixth Coyote for a second dodge charge, or Orpheus Rigs for a better super. Then on Titan, Heart of Inmost Light for ability regen, Doomfang Pauldrons for a better super, or Helm of Saint 14 for a blinding bubble. And then on Warlock, Verity's Brow for increased grenade damage and regen, or Nazarak Sin for increased ability regen on void kills. Now, jumping into how this build actually works, you can get three kills quickly to proc swift charge and get charged with light. And then because of stacks on stacks, we get two charges. When we reload, we get 10 charged magazine shots, which will give us double damage for each shot. And then you can see how much damage it does. You can two shot these majors and then reload again, charge magazine, oppressive darkness nade. You can take down an ultra in seven shots. And here we recharge again, throw smoke bomb, reload to get our smoke bomb and our grenade. And then you can see how much damage it does to this ogre boss. You can take it out in about one and a half clips with a grenade. And then here's our grenade launcher. You fire it, you swap. You can see he's blinded, so he can't shoot at me. Empty a clip, truth tellers reloaded, and you can finish off the ad with that. Now some examples on Titan. You can see I'm running middle tree void here, and then I'm basically just jumping around between weapons. And then the void detonators you can see keep going off and are getting me my grenade and other abilities back really quickly. And then I also have a sword for taking out high health targets. You'll see here I throw a grenade and then I use my melee, and then I use the intrinsic perk to regen both of those, toss another nade that lights up the tank, and then takes like a couple sword hits and it blows up. And then swap back to Traveler's Chosen to kill some of the adds. And kill the tank up top again, toss a nade on him, kill it with a sword. And then we now have Gathering Light times 10, so I toss a nade, kill the mini boss, and then the dogs come out, so I use my melee on them, and then I use Traveler's Chosen perk to regen both of those instantly. Then here's Rakiasan in the hangar, and you can actually damage him fast enough to kill him before he makes it up to the airfield. I've shown this in a couple other videos too. This one he actually is able to jump to the second platform because I don't have Lucent Blade running right now. And then he dies. Now on Warlock, an example of blinding grenades, you can see I have two snipers and four harpies shooting, and then I fire a blinding grenade. It kills one sniper and the other harpies get uh, discombobulated, as does the other sniper. And Nova Bomb, tons of damage. Finish things off with a sword. And then going up the lift, you'll see the blinding grenade again. And then I just swap back and it reloads itself. I'm able to use it to kill this guy and it blinds this harpy, the wanted harpy boss. And I'm able to just kind of run through it. Again, blinding grenade, uh, flash that guy. And then these guys are all confused so they can't shoot at me anymore. and you just finish killing everything before taking out the boss. So overall, it's a really fun build. It's a great weapon with a ton of options. So if you found something that works really well for you, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear how you're using Traveler's Chosen. Thanks for watching and hopefully this helped.